Welcome back y'all. Today's video is going to be a VR to pooter stomper. I've got my pack basket on, got some water, I'm headed down to the river. We're doing a camp out.
Got myself some ramen. Had a soda. Set up camp. Go listen to some tunes. And then rack ops. It would be better if I didn't have to listen to the uh, screaming downstream, but it's the price you pay for having river access. So I figured I should probably explain why I'm out here. Uh, if any of y'all follow, or I've heard of Pooter Stompers, he's a guy, um, cannot for the life of me remember where he lives, um, or what his name is right now. Uh, somewhere in the Northeast, that's about all I can tell you. And uh, he recently went through he did the Pathfinder Basic, and I think he just went through the Scout or the Advanced class. I don't remember which one. Anyway, pretty cool dude. Knows a lot of stuff. And he's doing a challenge right now uh, called the Nesmic Challenge. Sorry about all the bugs and things in the background. Oh, excuse me. Anyway. If you don't know who Nesmic was, uh, his name was his real name was George Washington Sears. He lived back in the 1800s, and he was really kind of the father of modern uh, ultralight camping. His motto was he didn't go out to rough it; he went to smooth it. He wanted to be able to get out there, carry as little gear as possible, set up as fast as possible, and just enjoy his time in the woods. Damn, that's still hot. Anyway, so Pooter issued the Nesmic Challenge, and I think he came up with it on his own. Um, but it's where you go out there with a kit that you think Nesmic would have carried if he lived nowadays. Now, unfortunately, I believe Nesmic would have carried the most ultralight, high speed, low drag, all sil nylon gear that he possibly could. And I don't own any of that stuff. So I've got my uh, sil nylon tarp, my hammock, and a bug net. Um, I got my pack basket, which is super ultralight. I got a little camping stove and uh, just a couple other bits and bobs. That way I can just come out and enjoy camping like I think Nesmic would have wanted us to. He was a very avid hunter and fisherman. Uh, unfortunately, I have horrible luck with fishing and it's not hunting season right now. So I figured I'd just come out and go camping. Get some nice grub, drink some nice drinks, just enjoy nature for a bit. Anyway, Pooter issued this challenge mainly to, uh, oh shoot, Jess from Endurance Room. And, oh man, it was another Texas guy. Uh, he's a Pathfinder instructor. I cannot remember his name right now. I'll put it in a little annotation. Um, but he also just issued it to whoever wanted to take up the challenge. So, Pooter, this is my Nesmic uh, challenge video for you. Hope you enjoy it, man. And I hope y'all can see me, because it's getting dark quick.
Also, which ramen flavor is better, chicken or beef? Let me know in the description. Alright guys, it was a fun little trip, uh, unfortunately I woke up and it immediately started raining and thundering and lightning, so I'm going to have to break camp and get out of here as fast as I possibly can, um, but yeah, it was a nice little trip. Uh, it was nice to go to bed with the sounds of the river and the animals. That was good. So, thank y'all for watching. Uh, please make sure to check out Pooter Stomper and Jess from Endurance Room. I'd also like to pass this challenge along to Jake from Clearly Canadian. Other than that, take care. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the trail. Bye.